Hi, my friends. It is 11 o'clock, so do you know what that means? It means it's our Facebook Live session for the three to four and a half year old. So I just want to start it off by saying welcome to all my friends from all the campuses, from Danville, Dublin, Irvington, uh, Maple, Peralta, and of course, um, Nile. So hi, welcome everyone. So today we're gonna, we have a lot of fun activities to, that we planned for you. Um, just remember, you guys don't have to finish all the worksheets, but we'll do our best to kind of show you how to do each worksheet and explain and show it to you guys. Okay, so before we get started, let's do our calendar. You guys ready? Did you guys say yes? Did you nod your head? Okay, so let's do our calendar. So do you guys remember what month month of the year it is? Did you guys say May? That's right, it's May. Let's see how many letters are in May. Can we count together? One, two, three. What letter does May start with? M, 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 May. And what day is it? Is it the fourth? No, that was yesterday. Is today the fifth? Yes, so let me move my little marker to the fifth. So let's say together, today is May, 5th, 2020. One more time. May 5th, 2020. So what is today? Is today Sunday? Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? Did you guys say yes? I can't hear you. Let's say it one more time. Is it Tuesday? Ah, oh, there you go. I heard you. Okay. So today is Tuesday. What was yesterday? Did I hear you say Monday? Right on. Okay, now what will tomorrow be? Will tomorrow be Friday? Will tomorrow be Thursday? Will tomorrow be Wednesday? I saw that none. You're right, tomorrow will be Wednesday. Okay, so let's say it together, okay? Today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday, and tomorrow will be Wednesday. What's the weather today? Can you guys look outside the window? Let's look outside the window. Is it sunny? It is sunny. I think now the weather is going to be more sunny. It's going to get hotter. So you guys make sure you drink a lot of water, okay? I know you guys are staying indoors, but still drink lots of fluids, okay? So now Miss Maria is going to do Spanish time with you guys. I'll see you guys later. Hi friends, how are you? Hope you all are all doing well. So today we are going to be learning Spanish. Do you know what mi familia mean, means in English? Mi familia means my family. Okay, so let's see. Um, I have a few worksheets to um, go along with this project and I also have a few cards and we're gonna uh, be calling them out and drawing and also writing, okay? So let me take out my pencil. Okay, and remember, it's okay if you don't finish your um, worksheet. You can um, finish it later, or if you need help, uh, remember to ask your teachers for help when you do the Zoom meeting, okay? So this is Mi Familia. Mi Familia. This one, can you guess who this is in my family? <gasps> I think you're right. That is Mom. And Mom in Spanish, we call her Madre. Can you say it with me? Madre. Mom is madre in Spanish. And can you guess who this guy is right here? Yep, you're right. That is dad. So dad in Spanish is padre. Can you say it again with me? Padre. Dad in Spanish is padre. So we have, we actually have two parts to the uh, Mi Familia worksheet. So today I will be going through uh, the first part and then later on we will do the second part, okay? So um, for this part, don't forget to write your name and also your uh, the date. And then we are going to be tracing the 
the word madre. So we're going to start with the letter M. What sound does the letter M make? M, M, M. Okay, so we're going to trace. And then the next letter is A. What sound does the letter A make? M, A, A. There you go. And then it's the letter D. What sound does the letter D make? D, D, D. And then the next letter is our letter R. What sound does the letter R make? R, R. And then this letter is the letter E. What sound does the letter E make? Uh, uh. Okay, so M A D R E Madre. Okay, so in this box you can go ahead and draw a uh, a drawing of your mom, whatever you think your mom looks like. So let's see. I'm gonna draw my mom. So I'm gonna draw her head first, and then I'm gonna give her some hair. She has not too long hair. Okay. And then I'm going to give her some eyes. How many eyes do we have? We have two eyes, dos ojos. And then the nose, nariz. And then I'm going to draw a big smile on her face because she likes to smile. Do you know what smile is in Spanish? Sonrisa. And I'll give her a neck. There you go. See, that's my mom. That's my madre. Okay, and then let's go on to the second word, which is padre, dad. So we're going to trace the letter P. What sound does the letter P make? Okay, and next is the letter A. And then we are going to trace the letter D, the letter R, and the letter E. Okay, it says padre, padre, which means dad. Okay, and now let's draw dad. I'm going to draw my dad. Hmm. Let's see. Drawing his head, which is cabeza in Spanish. Ojos. His eyes. Nariz, his nose. And a mouth. He's smiling. Now draw a neck, cuello, and his hair. There is my madre and my padre. And you can go ahead and color um, mom and dad. Okay? And let's see. The next page. Uh, here we have... Let's see. We have hermano and hermana. Do you know what hermano means in English? Hermano is brother. So let's go ahead and trace... Hermano. H E R M A N O Hermano. Let's see, how many of us have brothers? Raise your hand if you have a brother or an hermano. I have two brothers. I'm going to go ahead and draw my brother. Let's see. His cabeza, which is head. His ojos. Eyes. Nose. Nariz. And boca. Mouth. And pelo. Hair. Okay, and now we're going to move on to hermana. Okay, let's trace the word hermana, sister, 
Hermana means sister in English. H E R M A N A. Hermana, sister. And how many sisters do you have? Raise your hand if you have sisters. I have three sisters. And I'm going to draw one of my sisters. I'm going to give her... Ojos, nariz, boca. I'll give her bangs because my sister has bangs. And then her hair. Pelo. And that's my hermana. And then if you can, you can go ahead and write the name of your hermano and hermana inside the box. Okay, and don't forget to uh, color in hermano and hermana. Okay, so let's see. I have some cards here. And can you guess, can you guess what this card is? It has a mom and a dad. Mom and dad in Spanish is papas. And this is hermanos, brothers. This one is mama. And this one is hermana. This one is papa. And if you have one brother, it's hermano. If you have more than one brother, it's hermanos. Okay. And let's see. And I have abuela, grandma, abuelo, grandpa. Okay, so let's go over this again. Papas, parents, hermanos, brothers, hermano, brother, mamá, mom, hermana, sister, abuela, grandma, papá, dad, and abuelo, grandpa. Okay. Okay, so now we have Miss Alice and she will uh, join us with another project. Okay, hi my friends. Welcome to Miss Alice's math class. You guys excited to do numbers today? So I know on um, our remote learning site, we did post a little bit more worksheets, but we don't have to complete them all, okay? We can do half of them this week, and then we'll do the other half next week. Okay, does that sound good? I think so. Okay, so today, yesterday, Miss Maria taught you numbers 11 and 12. Today, we're going to do numbers 13 and 14. Okay, so I know we have two pages, but we're gonna do the first one, okay? So we're gonna do the first page with the color beads, okay? And then we'll do a second one. Um, the, the back page will be for next week, so we can review the numbers. Does that make, does that sound good? Give me a thumbs up if that sounds good. Okay, so Miss Alice has a lot of fun activities that we can do to make the number 13, okay? So yesterday, Miss Maria kind of showed you guys how to make um, the bead bars. And I know at home you guys don't have them, but at school you do see them, see? So Miss Alice will show you. On our worksheet we have an example, but at school we have the actual bead bar. Okay? So here's our 10 bar, and this is our 3 bead, okay? So Miss Alice is going to show you how to make them at home. Okay, so like Miss Maria did yesterday, we're gonna have a pipe cleaner and our orange, because not a lot of beads come in gold, um, will be representing our 10. 
So let's do it together. One, you have to count out loud with me. Two, three, four, did you say five? Yep, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do we put more in there? Did you say yes or no? Or tell me yes, no? Okay, that's right. So we have 10. Let's recount them, okay? You guys ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can always kind of loop the, um, the ends into the other bead. If you can't do that, that's okay. You can ask Mommy and Daddy to kind of help you too. Even Miss Alice has a hard time looping it in. Okay, so as you can see, there's our 10. Now let's make our three. So if you have a long pipe cleaner like this, you can always cut it to make it smaller. Or you can cut it at the end. So I think I'm gonna cut it at the end. So let's make our three. What color is our three bar? Pink. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna do pink. Ready? One, two, three. Should I put more? Did you guys say yes or no? I think I heard you guys say no, okay? So let's loop this one inside like this. Okay, and now Ms. Alice is gonna cut. There you go. And she's gonna loop the other one. Okay, there you go. So here is my three. Ready? 10. And three makes 13. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's do it again. 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, in, at school, you may have these Montessori cards, okay, that you, this, this might look familiar to you, okay? So you have your 10. Yesterday, you've made 11. So if you put it together, that's 11. You also did 12. So 10 and two, put them together, makes 12. Now today, what are we making? 10 and three. You put them together, it makes 13. Very nice. And then we'll make 14 later, okay? Okay, now you don't have to always um, use beads to make the bead bars. You can use whatever you have at home to make 13. So look, you may notice these are counters at school. You can use anything you find at home to make 13. So let's make 13 together with these counters. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten. And how many more do we need to make thirteen? Did you say three? That's right. Okay, one, two, three. There you go. Did we do it together? Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we made thirteen using counters. You can use Legos, you can use your stickers, you can use anything to make thirteen. Can you guys um, tell me what you guys can use to make the number thirteen? You can also make it fun by asking mom and dad during snack time or lunch to see if you can have 13 whatever you would like to eat. For instance, Miss Alice has goldfish. Okay, so I'm gonna ask, can I have 13 goldfish please? 
So make sure you guys wash your hands, but since Miss Alice is doing a presentation, she's gonna wear gloves. Okay, so we can go, Mom and Dad, can I please have 13 goldfish for snack? So you can use a spoon to scoop it one at a time, or you can use a tong. Miss Alice is gonna use a spoon. So let's do this together, you guys ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Look at this, we have 13 goldfish for snacks. Yum, yum. We can count this whole bowl, but I think we would be here forever. Or maybe not forever, maybe a little bit longer, but you can always make it fun by playing with your numbers, asking mom and dad if you can have more than 13. Um, you have 14, 15, 16, 17, 50, 100. Um, it's up to you, okay? Now you can eat your goldfishies. Okay. Now let's go over the worksheet. Okay, so this is number 13. As you can see, we have our 13, our 10 bar, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then we have our 11, 3 bar, 1, 2, 3. Remember, 10 is gold, 3 is pink, and on here, this is a number 13. You see the one and the three? You can color it. Since the beep bar is kind of pink, I'm gonna use up and down, up and down. And I'm gonna color the number three. You can trace the outside of it before you color the inside. If you want, you don't have to. Just gives it a little bit more definition. Which you will learn when you get older, what definition means. Okay. Or you can trace the number 13. Top to bottom, remember. Top to bottom. Okay. Oh, look here. What do we have here? We have apples. Do we have 13 apples? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. What color should I make my apples? Should I make them red? No, I think we have enough. Pink? I don't think I've seen pink apples. Should we make it green? Is that a yes? Okay. Let's color our apples green. Actually, we can color our apples many different colors if you want. It can be the rainbow color. Just use your imagination. Okay. There you go. And you can continue to color the rest of the apple doesn't have to be green. What I can do is I can make all my 10 apples green and three apples, maybe yellow. Okay, Miss Alice will do it with you. She'll color it all with you. And you can color it slow to make sure you get all the white parts. It's up to you how fast you wanna go. And my friends, when you grow up, you're going to probably hear a lot of people say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if you don't like going to the doctor, make sure you eat your fruits. Okay. Now I think I'll make... Oh, Miss Alice doesn't have the... Oh, no, I do. Just kidding. Yellow. There you go. I have 10 green apples and three yellow apples. That makes 13. Very nice. And remember, this page we'll do next week. 
okay? Now let's do 14, okay? So let's make the beads. So as you can see, I have a 10 bead bar here and a four bead bar here. What color is the four? Did you say yellow? That's right, it's yellow. So we're gonna make it at home. Ready? I wonder if this is enough pipe cleaner. Probably not. Okay, Miss Alice is gonna use a longer one. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that enough? I think so. Okay. Thank you for answering. There you go. I have my 10 bar. Now let's do the yellow one. How many yellows do we need? Four. So let's count together. One, two, three, four. Should I put any more? No, because we only need four. Okay, there you go. So there's my four. So as you can see, you'll see this at school, your 10 bar, your four bead bar. You can make this at home, your 10 bar and your four. Wasn't that fun? This house is gonna make a lot of them. Okay, now remember our card, these cards. Mom and dad can make these cards at home too. You need a 10 and a four. So 10 together, but the four is what is it? Did you say 14? Very nice. Okay. Now let's do our worksheet. Okay. So one and a four makes 14. So four, some people write four this way, and some people write four a different way. So Miss Alice will show you. Okay, so top to bottom, and I think Miss Alice just broke the crayon. She's too strong. There you go. So you can write 14 this way, or you can write 14 this way. Ooh, Miss Alice needs. Okay, there you go. It's up to you how you wanna write 14. And let's have you color the 14 balls. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I kind of want to see what you will color them. Um, so make sure when school opens again, you bring it to school so you can show your teachers. Okay, that's enough of Miss Alice's math class. Now we're gonna stand up and we're gonna do our jungle song. Are you guys ready? Okay, let's get up and get moving and we're going to do our jungle song. We're not afraid. 
Let's stomp. Can't hear you stomping. Stomping in the jungle, stomping in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. Stomping in the jungle, stomping in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. Stop. Listen, listen. What's that? Oh, it's a monkey. We're not afraid. Let's jump. Let's jump. Jumping in the jungle, jumping in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. Jumping in the jungle, jumping in the jungle. We're not afraid, we're not afraid. One step, two steps, three steps forward. One step, two steps, three steps back. for her language class. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, welcome to language class. Now, can you guys guess what letter we're learning today? We did a lot of reviewing of some letters yesterday, but today we're just gonna learn a whole new letter. Let's see, it starts Hmm, what letter are we gonna learn today? I'm gonna write it in the air to see if you guys can tell me. Does that tell you anything? I don't think so. I'm gonna write it in sand and see if you guys can tell me. You guys ready? Here's my sand tray. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see. You guys ready? What letter is that? I'll do it again. You guys can make your own sand tray at home. You just need a tray and some sand. What letter is that? Did you guys say H? That's right. Today we're going to be learning about the letter H. And what sound does letter H make? That's right. Let's do it three times together. Ready? Remember, we always go from top to bottom, left to right. You guys ready? We're gonna trace a letter and we're gonna sound it out. H. One more time. H. H. There you go. And you can have a lot of fun with the sand tray. Ready? Same thing, top to bottom. Does that look like my letter H? Yeah, that's fine. Miss Alice loves the sand tray. But you have to make sure to keep all the sand inside the tray because if you get it out and all the sand is gone, you can't spell any letters. Right? So let's do it one more time. H. See how Miss Alice keeps the sand in the tray? And then you just lightly shake, 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 shake. Now you have a clean plate to do it again. Okay. Now let's see what letter starts with 
the letter H. So which one is the letter H? Is it this one? Yes. It's not this one. It's not this one. These letters you'll learn later this week. So it's this one. You have your capital H and your lowercase h. So together we can write capital H. Ready? Top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. Now your lowercase h. Top to bottom, left to right. Mm, that was really fun. Okay. Now let's see what starts with the letter H. Everyone, anyone tell me what this is? Can you see it? What is it? It's an animal. Starts with the letter H. Did you guys say hippo? I can't hear you. Say it louder. Hippo. That's right. So there's a hippo. <gasps> hippo. Starts with the letter H. Ooh, I like this one. What is that? A heart. That's right. Can you guys sound out the letter, the heart? Heart. Okay. Now what is this? I think we all have this. What's that? Is that your hand? That's right. Hand starts with the letter H. H for hand. How about this? Can you guys tell me what object this is? Did you say helicopter? That's right, helicopter starts with the letter H. H for helicopter. Has anyone read, rode on a helicopter or sat in a helicopter? I wish I can sit on a helicopter. Okay, now here's another object. What is that? Did you guys say horse? That's right, this is a horse. Horse starts with the letter H. Horse. Now there, Miss Alice has one more object. What is that? You guys are in it right now. Is it a house? That's right. I hope you guys are watching our Facebook Live in your house. So house starts with the letter H. House. So let's go over it together one more time. I'll point to it and you um, tell me what it is, okay? Okay, now Miss Alice will say it. Hippo, hippo, heart, helicopter, horse, hand, house. Now can you guys tell me what other objects or things that start with the letter H? I'll give you a minute or a few seconds. Did you guys, I think someone said hammer. That's right, hammer starts with the letter H. Okay, so Miss Alice is gonna put all her objects that start with the letter H away. There you go. And now we're gonna work on our worksheets. Okay, so today we're gonna work on this coloring worksheet for letter H, and then we're gonna work on this one. Okay, I know there's one more, but we can do this another day. Okay, so you guys remember, first thing you do is you write your name. So I'm Miss Alice, so I'm going to write, well, Miss Alice is going to have to turn a little bit because she can't write backwards. Does my name start with the letter H? No, it doesn't. What letter does it start with? The letter H. A. Okay, you can write the date too if you want. Today is May, which is 05, 5th, 2020. Okay. Okay, now let's write the letter H, capital, lowercase. Remember, top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. Do you see the top line, middle line, and bottom line? Top line, dotted line, middle line. Ready? Top to bottom, top to bottom, left 
top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. Let's do it one more time together, okay? Top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. Okay, now can you guys tell me what this picture is? Did you guys say hat? That's right, hat is something, it also starts with the letter H. Now let's see, is this a capital H or a lowercase h? Capital H. So when you see a capital H, you're going to color it blue. Okay, so if you see a capital H, you're going to color it blue. So, did you say this is capital H? I think so, so I'm going to color it blue. I hope you guys are doing a lot of coloring while being at home. Miss Alice has been doing a lot of coloring too. She's coloring a lot of different things, and I can't wait to show you when you guys come back to school. Okay, there you go. Where else is another, where else is a big H or capital H? I'm gonna move my finger and you're gonna tell me where to stop, okay? Oh, I think I heard someone say stop. Yep, that's capital H, so I'm gonna color that blue. Okay. Okay, now let's do a lowercase h. Where is the lowercase h? There it is. Now, if you see lowercase h, you're gonna color it yellow. There you go. Okay, so I can't wait for you to finish coloring your hat and show us when you come back to school. Now let's do this one. Okay. So this worksheet is just working on capital H. So remember, write your name and your date. Remember, top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. And this is just for you to practice, tracing. And if you're ready, you can write on your own here, top to bottom, top to bottom, left to right. If you're not, that's okay. Everything takes practice. Okay, so let's look at this picture. Hippopotamus, or other ways, short version is hippo. Hippopotamus, hippo starts with the letter H, okay? Now, uh, down here, it's asking you to color the ones that begin with the letter H, or sound, or begins with the hippopotamus, the H sound. What picture is this? Is that a, did you say nest? Does that start with the letter H? No, it doesn't, so I'm not gonna color that. How about this? Yep, that's a hand, so I'm gonna color the hand because it starts with the letter H. Okay, what else starts with the letter H? What is this? House, that's right, it does start with the letter H, so I'm gonna color the house. Okay, what's the next picture? Did you say kite? Does kite start with the letter H? No, so I'm not gonna color that. Now this is a hose and this is a heart. They both start the letter H, so we do color the hose and we do color the heart. Okay, well that's it of Miss Alice's language class. I will see you again soon for a different class. Okay, now Miss, I think we have a birthday. We do! So whose birthday is it today on May 5th? Miss Maria? It looks like it's our friend Deisha from Irvington. She's turning four today. Ooh, okay, so let's sing our happy birthday song for Deisha. Let's come, Miss Maria, okay. ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Deisha. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 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 Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? 
are, are you for? for? Well, happy fourth birthday, Disha. I hope you have a great day. Celebrate with your parents at home. Yay. Yay. Okay, now Miss Maria is going to start our cultural lesson. Hello friends, I'm back again. So today, um, earlier today, uh, Miss Alice went over the calendar and she um, told you what day was today. So today is Tuesday, May 5th. Do you know that there, it's a special day and we are celebrating uh, Cinco de Mayo, May the 5th. So um, May the 5th is, it's not, some people think it's in Mexican's Independence Day, but it's not. It's not Mexican Independence Day. It is um, the battle that Puebla, a small uh, a small city in Mexico, uh, won um, by beating the French. Um, a lot of people didn't think that uh, Puebla, the small city, was going to win because they weren't that prepared like the French were. But because they believed in doing the right thing, they were able to beat the French. Um, so, yes, it's not in the Mexican Independence Day. It's just a battle that uh, the Pue uh, Puebla uh, beat uh, the French. And to celebrate, they eat lots of delicious food. Um, they also wear their beautiful uh, dresses and then they wear beautiful hats as well. Um, and it has so many colors and they go out on the streets and they celebrate. Um, can you tell me a holiday that you celebrate other than Cinco de Mayo? Did you say 4th of July? Yes, that 4th of July is one of my favorite uh, holidays. Okay, so let's see. Today we have this worksheet and we're going to be coloring and tracing the word Cinco de Mayo, which is May the 5th. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So don't forget to write your name and the date. I'm going to write my name. And today's date, which is Cinco de Mayo. Mayo is the fifth month of the year. And today is the fifth day of the month. And it is the year 2020. Okay, so we're going to start by uh, tracing Cinco de Mayo. So Cinco, which is five. Cinco starts with the letter s -s -s C. Okay, and then we're going to trace the letter I. And then next is the letter N. And we have another C. And then an O. Cinco. Okay, and then we have the letter D the letter E, which is the, and the letter M. M, A, Y, O, Mayo, Cinco de Mayo. Okay, so here we have some maracas and confetti. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna color my maracas blue. And you can color it any color you would like, okay? Make it nice and colorful. And try to stay inside the lines. But if you can, that's okay. Just continue practicing to color inside the lines and you will be great at it, okay? Okay, and then I will color the next line yellow. And the more more colors, the better. It'll look it'll look so colorful. But it's okay if you don't want to put in a lot of colors. Okay. 
and then I will use let's see orange did you say orange or green okay orange let's do orange okay and then I will go ahead and um, have you finished the rest of your maraca uh, coloring page and then don't forget to take a picture or bring it back to school so you can um, show the teachers what you did over um, this time okay and now we have a fun special project hard work to do okay so we will need for this project guess what we will be making it's an instrument and if you hold them on both hands and you shake them and makes that ch -ch 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 sound can you guess what it is you're right it's a maraca so we will need some rice so when you shake your maracas it makes the noise and two eggs okay two easter eggs you might have these at home since it was easter not that long ago and we will need four spoons and also tape okay so before we tape the uh, spoons we will put some rice inside of the eggs okay Oops. try to keep the rice inside the egg see you shake it you can make music with this okay so now rice on the other egg Can you hear that sound? It's the sound of the maracas, okay? So then you'll grab uh, your two spoons and you will put the egg in between the two spoons, just like this. And if you need help, go ahead and ask mom, dad, or brother, or sister, okay? And then we'll have it like this and we will use tape to tape both spoons so we can hold our maracas. Oh, I think we're gonna need more tape than that. Okay, grab a long piece of tape. And then we are gonna go around the spoon. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see, it's a little tricky. So you might need a little bit of help, but go ahead and ask mom or dad. I'm having a little trouble here. Okay, so then once you have the tape secured, go ahead and wrap it around. And there you have it, your first maraca. Okay, and then we will do the same thing with the other. Put the egg here. Let's try it this way. Oh, no. Okay, and then I will, let's see if this works better. Yep. So once you have the tape secured, go ahead and wrap it around the two spoons and there you have it friends maracas now you can make your own music wasn't this project fun show us um, how your maracas came out okay and I think this is the end of our uh, session for today we uh, join us back tomorrow and I hope you have a great day bye bye